Hey, welcome back Mighty Mamas. So today's video is all about creating a front entryway. And I'm gonna share with you some cheap and simple tips on how I do that. It's also going to be a beautiful modern farmhouse style, but not only will it be beautiful, it has definitely got to be a functional space when it comes to me and my family. So if this is your vibe, keep on watching. I'm gonna share it with you right now. So I just briefly want to show you guys what I had started here in this space. I had shared this over on my Instagram stories a little while back. We decided to go with the shiplap wallpaper and it is textured. So if you come up close, it looks like real wood and it actually has like little grooves in it. So that worked out really well. Eventually we do want to put the real shiplap up, but you know, with my crazy mom life and my husband always working, time is of essence and I can no longer stand to look at what it previously was like. So I'm just all about like quick, easy, you know, makeovers. And so the wallpaper worked out really good. I even like brought it inside here. And then we originally had like the oak doors, the brown oak doors, cause that's what everything is in our house is the oak, which I will be changing down the road. But I had changed those doors out with these white, um, I don't know if it's shaker style or what that would be called, but I thought it went really well with the vibe I was trying to, you know, bring here and then we also put up new trim which we will be doing inside our entire house all in time and then i went ahead and i painted the door black i do however have to put a final coat of paint on this um, this really took like six coats and it still wasn't done but this is the space here that i'm going to be transforming for you guys and i have such an awesome idea to make this part of the room blend in with this and to just open it up you know because it is such a small little space here and um this wall connects here with the front room space and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be painting it all the same color. I'm not gonna be able to make it into that part of the room today, but I will also be bringing it that, that part up there above the closet. I'm gonna have to paint that as well. But I just wanted to share with you the plan and what I'm gonna be doing, but I can't wait for you guys to see what I come up with because I just know it's gonna turn out awesome. So let's get into it. I decided to begin above this closet space because oh, I definitely need to dust this before I can paint. You guys, I'm embarrassed to admit how long it's been since I've even cleaned up here, but you all know I'm on this journey of taking back control of my life, cleaning up one mess at a time. You know, for anybody struggling with any form of depression or anxiety, it's just super hard to find that extra time and energy you're just mentally exhausted and being a mom and raising kids like it's hard enough to find energy so it is just a struggle to get to these neglected spaces in your home and that's what this journey is all about for me is just finding that love in my home again to take care of my home every square inch of it and just make it a space that represents me and gives my family that happiness and joy and that also motivates me to want to keep cleaning it and take care of it. So anyways, I decided to start up here because I need to paint back here and I always clean from top to bottom anyways. And um, I'm just curious, what do you guys do? Do you start at the top? Like when I dust, I dust first from you know top to bottom and then I vacuum the floors. Do you dust first or do you vacuum first? I'm just curious to know. Leave a comment below and let me know. So I wanted to bring you guys this short clip to share with you the reality, like the raw and real of mom life and trying to get projects done around the house. So as you guys have seen, I got up on the ladder. I'm ready to dust up there and clean to complete my prepping. And this little guy... He wants to nurse on mama and it's his nap time, but he is not letting me leave him. So I've literally been nursing him for like 30 to 45 minutes. I don't even know, but I'm really frustrated because I had so much caffeine in me and I was so pumped, but like now I'm tired. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. But I want to share this raw and real part 
of mom life and trying to do things around the house. He finally stopped nursing, so now I can get back to work. So here is my tip number one, mamas, paint. Something as simple as paint can completely transform your space from dingy and dark to just beautiful and happy and alive. It's also something you can do like in a matter of a day or less than a day. And I'm all about the cheap, easy, quick home renovations because my mom life does not allow me much time for anything. <laughs> so time is of essence. And I don't know if you guys just caught that right there, but I had rolled up the rug so I can vacuum and who comes by little Jack Jack and unrolls it again. And I had to roll it up again. As mamas, I feel like we are always doing double the work. Do you guys agree with me? Leave me a comment below if you can relate. <laughs> okay, continuing on, I am now going to prime this wall on this side of the door. Now, this brings me to tip number two. You want to open up the space. So you basically want to trick the eye to create a more open and wider space. So how I'm doing that here is I am going to add shiplap wallpaper to this left side of the wall, which is actually my front room wall. But my goal here is to add the shiplap wallpaper so that it blends and flows right in with the doorway and then the closet off to the right. Because as I pointed out earlier, I had already done the shiplap wallpaper around the closet space. So that's my goal here to widen the space, broaden it by matching the same color wallpaper. So you can do this with the same color paint or the same color pattern, whatever you have going on on one side of your door. You should match it to the other side of the door, even if that wall space is part of a whole different room. So in my case, you can see that it's super close to my front room. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm priming the wall because I want it to be bright and white behind the shiplap wallpaper so that that white line separating the green and the brown does not show through. So tip number two, widen and broaden your space by matching both sides of your door with the same patterns, paints, or wallpapers. Before I move any further, I just really want to apologize for all that background noise. Um, in the previous recording that I just did, you know, mamas, the truth is, is I'm trying so hard to find that balance between working on my YouTube channel and mom life. And sometimes I just have to do these things with the kids in the background. And so they were in the background playing and, um, you know, that's what all that noise was. So I just wanted to let you know, and I am so sorry about that. I hope it wasn't too distracting but you know, that's just the way it is right now. And you know, we have to do what works for us to get our stuff done, mamas. So I hope you can understand. And I just wanna thank you for your patience in that. But um, yeah, so moving forward, I did the primer, I had already put the primer down. And so now I'm going to wallpaper this section. And I'm not gonna show you like step-by-step step how I wallpaper. I actually did a previous video on shiplap wallpaper because we did our kitchen island in it. So make sure you guys go check that out. That would be a good video for you to refer to if you're curious of exactly how this wallpaper works. I do pretty much a step-by-step -step process. I show you like the way it works and how what you can do and all that. So check that video out. I'll put that up uh, to the right here. You could click on that there after this video. But yeah, so then following the shiplap, I just go and um, start rolling the walls with the gray paint. The entire wall is painted. And now this color is by Benjamin Moore. It's in the Regal and it is an eggshell finish. And the color is classic gray. I love it, you guys. It is a very warm beige slash gray. Gray, um, gray so I guess what do you call that a grayish type family but it also can be like an off white so I don't know it just is so warm and neutral and it works well here I just love it so it's not too like yellowy it's not too beigey and it's not like that blue gray that some people get when they go gray but I ended up up there painting as well so okay 
here's the thing that I did that I didn't intend on doing, but it turned out so good. So I did the shiplap here and I decided, oh my gosh, that would look so good all the way there. So I brought it along here, which I love. And now just so you guys know, I removed the bottom trim here. So it, it's showing like the old paint color, but we are going to um, get a new piece of trim. We're gonna end up adding new trim everywhere and it's going to be like that. So I just kind of want to give you guys that vision and why um, I just pulled off the brown trim because it's gonna be higher. It goes up like five and a half inches. Over here, I'm going to also be shiplapping because I decided that for this whole window wall, I'm gonna have it on top, paint it the gray, and then on the bottom, all shiplap, except I ran out of the wallpaper. So it really kills me that I have to go buy a whole roll just to do that small little section, but it is what it is, and I'm sure I will find another spot in this house to do this shiplap wallpaper, which I am obsessed with. It's just so easy and quick and it gives you that look. But I just wanted to show you guys and explain the extras that I did. Now there's one more thing, of course, because I'm like cray cray. I had extra paint in the pan. So I'm like, you know what? I don't wanna just dump it because it's pretty pricey, Benjamin Moore. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just start rolling it on the hallway wall? <laughs> so I ended up doing like the beginning part of my hallway which as you could see this is like the old color which is so dark and dingy i have to do a whole video on the history of moving in my home and everything but anyways this is what i ended up doing so i love it and this is how everything turned out so far and i'm super excited Let's get into the fun stuff now and let's put up that home decor and create a beautiful space here. Okay, so now that I'm showered and ready for the day, I already began putting up some home decor. I switched out the old light switch covers for these ones here and I will show you guys those up close. So I already got started with that, but I'm gonna move on and show you what I'm working with. So let's get into it. Tip number four, use a mirror. Mirrors are a great way to make any space look bigger. I have tons of mirrors around my home because I have little small sections within my home. And so using a mirror just opens up the space dramatically. Plus it's functional. You can check yourself before you walk out the door. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how I hang my pictures. If, it, if they already come with hardware, like something that has um, two hangers on it, I just take some that greenery wire that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um, so it was only a buck and it comes like a whole spool of it, but it's real thick uh, wire. And so I just cut it to size and then I go ahead and loop it around here and just loop it around the wire. And then when I hang it, it's just easy. It makes for easy hanging. You can like put a nail or a gorilla hook in the wall and then um, it just makes it easy for leveling. Otherwise, I would have to measure up these two hardware pieces and that would be so much more complicated. Okay, so now I'm gonna hang the shelf. I actually got this off Amazon. I think it was like $19.99 for a two pack of these shelves. You just have to attach the hardware that comes with it. Um, but it matches our floor, so I went with that. I was originally gonna go with like a darker wood because I like to have pops of natural wood throughout the whole modern vibe. Um, but I thought, you know what, this would be perfect in the space because I'm gonna have a lot of that walnut darker wood throughout the rest of my home. So I'm gonna go hang this now. choose um, I'm gonna see which one works best for that space 
because the two floors are different, I just wanted to create an illusion of like kind of having the same floor, the gray flooring, um, so that it kind of is cohesive. It goes along with the front way entrance. So I brought up two different types of rugs. I don't know which one will work, but let's see what happens. Tip number seven, use a bench. A bench is a great piece of furniture that is super functional and works perfectly at a front entryway. And mine has these two baskets. So one of them I will be using for incoming mail, which is great because I do a three day quarantine with my mail with Corona. And then the other basket can just be for some outgoing things or odds and ends. But this was actually a bench sitting in my basement getting no use at all. So make sure you shop your homes first, mama, because you'll be surprised you have a piece of furniture that is being unused and you can use it somewhere else. Okay, one minute, baby. Sorry, so my boss is calling me, but um, I want this to be a functional space. Like I said, a grab and go, and that is the main reason for designing this space because even though we have the front closet, we just need it like everybody would just drop their shoes here or like I would put my my uh, diaper bag there or keys and it would just end up on the floor on a table that we had here and it just it didn't look very nice and it just became cluttered. So this is a way for us to have an organized, functional, but pretty space. So I have to do that DIY, which includes the hooks. I will definitely show you guys that, but I just wanted to point that out because if I'm in different clothing, that means we're moving into day three for this project. Hopefully I could get out to the store tonight before it closes and uh, grab that board and I could put that together. I will make a separate video for that DIY project. So anyways, look for that video too, but hopefully we can finish this today. I love the progress I've made so far. I want to talk about everything in detail at the very end but I want to complete it first. So keep on watching. So it turns out I didn't get to finish it yesterday. That's why I'm in different clothes, but that's okay. It is finished now. I'm just adding two more tips that I want to share with you. That is to use smaller baskets and to definitely put some wall hooks up so that you can hang baskets and put the stuff inside the basket to conceal it so it doesn't look cluttered and sloppy. And uh, yeah, I'm just finishing up with these little details and then I'm gonna explain more in a few. Okay guys, it is completely finished and I am so in love. I can't even believe that this is my house. So starting from the top here, I had obviously, you've seen, I had put up a open shelf and then I added some of my decor that I already had. I've, I've accumulated all this decor over time. I always knew I can put it somewhere, but it's finally like, it's just so nice to see it all come together finally. I have a picture frame there, and then I just have this um, ceramic plated vase. And then I put lamb's ear inside, and then that welcome sign. That was from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. I think the other, the sign was from uh, Big Lots. And then I think the vase and the lamb's ear leaves were from Hobby Lobby too. And the shelf was from Amazon. Now moving down, I had picked up this mirror at Dollar Tree. It was only $5. I actually ended up getting two because I couldn't pass that up. That was such a steal. And don't mind the reflection in the mirror. I have to still paint that wall. I have to clean up that uh, plant up there and pull off all the old brown leaves. That's just part of my journey of taking back control of my life. So that will be in another video. But I ended up putting this lamb's ear little wreath that I had here and I just tied it up with um, some sort of ribbon that came with a throw blanket I got a long time ago. I like to always reuse stuff. And then these were the light switches that I talked about. They were only $2.08 and they're um, like a cast iron. They're super heavy. And those were from Hobby Lobby as well. I always check the clearance, always look for clearance first. And this here I am so proud of. This is my DIY that I made myself. I ended up getting the farmhouse hooks from Amazon. 
And then I had that wood board laying around the house. It was the rest of our trim we used for the shiplap kitchen island, which if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you check that out. And it holds nicely my Ryla pack, which is my diaper bag. And then I just found these seagrass baskets. These were off Amazon as well. I knew I can use this for something uh, down the road. So like I said, it's so nice to see all my stuff coming together and definitely always shop your house. Um, you can use what you already have, but I just put mask in here. We just have tons of masks for when we go out. And then I have uh, this for sunglasses. My husband's sunglasses are in there and then I just hung some keys there. And then of course I have this little bench, seating bench. I had this in the basement for some time, but it worked out really well here. And this is just like um, storage for returns at the store or something. And this is actually a pillowcase. I wanna get a filler. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I can sit it on here. I don't know. I just thought that would go with it. But in here is just for our mail. So this is going to be an easy thing to drop the mail in and then, you know, give it like a three day quarantine because we're still living in the pandemic. So I don't like to have the mail anywhere else in the house just because of germs. But I am so excited, you guys. And I just think it came along so well. And then, of course, you know, we did the shiplap wallpaper and then the door is painted black. And if you look over here, this is the first part that I started. I shared on my Instagram stories. So it goes really well with everything. It all ties in together. And then of course I have my crucifix over the door. Um, that is just tradition, but I'm gonna take you guys up here and show you what I ended up doing. Okay, I wanted to start at this end and show you what I have up here. So I have these two bookends. They are so beautiful. And I actually got these from Marshalls that was going out of business. And I ended up picking them up for three or four dollars each. And they are like super like heavy duty wood. And I just put some books here. I love decorating with books. I found some books with their natural bind. Um, I took the paper covers off. And I just thought this combination was so pretty together with the green and then the sort of like beigey mustard and then a white um, book. So I kind of just put that together just to add a little warmth because everything is black and white down there. And then this is a vase, a crystal vase that we received. Whoa, we received from our wedding shower. So I threw that up here. I just thought that adds a little elegance since a lot of things are rustic. And then this is a farmhouse clock. Well, it looks farmhousey to me. I thought that would look nice back here. It does work. It technically does work, but um, it just adds more warmth up here, like I said. And then that's our Infant of Prague statue. You'll know if you're a Christian what that means. And then have my cake stand with a planter pot. And then that has actual real dirt in it. I like to use real dirt with the faux flowers or leaves and that is a rosemary leaf bush and an m monogram for our last name and then that's another crystal piece that we received from our wedding shower um so i just thought it was really pretty to display up here and then i'll just move this out of the way to show you guys our home sign that says the most important work you will ever do will be within the walls of your home. And I just thought that went perfect back here because um, I don't really have a lot of wall space to hang stuff because our house isn't that big. But the combo of all of this together, it looks really good. I use some books to lift it up higher because when you're down here, it's harder to see everything. So um, I'll show you from back here if it makes sense. Okay, there we go. So now you can see all the pieces together. So I absolutely love it. I love how all this turned out. And you guys, I can't even believe this is my home. Like this has been such a long time coming and it's totally reduces my stress levels. It just makes me so much happier as a mom, a woman. And I just want to take care of my home. You know, it motivates you. Like when you fix spaces in your home that make you feel happy, it'll motivate you to want to clean and want to actually take care of them. 
So I hope that this video inspired you as well to do something and also sharing just bits and pieces of my mom life to let you know that it's not all, you know, hunky dory when you're trying to get this stuff done. And if I can do it, you can do it. So thanks for hanging out, mamas. See you in the next one. Every change.